each of our Calibishi Chronicle episodes stands on its own. So if you are listening to this episode or to Calibishi Chronicle for the first time, we are going to continue discussing the construction of a free will. For those of you who have been following the free will, as was introduced, is a 1980s era gadget, toy, truck, pleasure seeking ride which was built on three wheels with two big wheels at the back, one at the front, a handlebar in the shape of a scooter but, a, but on three wheels like a, a motorcycle of sorts, our own version of the BSC but not two wheels, on three wheels and on the last couple of episodes we have been speaking about it as a recreational tool and I had been trying to explain how we created the free wheel. So on this episode, I'm going to continue. Um, we spoke about creating the wheels, having the holes through the wheel, placing the rubber to ply the tire, the wooden part of the tire, and then the holes through, and then the fewi, the metal that we got from the buku, the barrels of rum, to, pro to pr protect the, the hole of the wheel from being wobbly, when it turns very quickly. So you have three wheels now with fairy on all and rubbers around the wheels. The free wheel was made on a platform like a straight wooden board platform let's say a one inch sometimes one and a half inch by say eight inches wide and we build the axle we nail the axle down under the platform of the board. On that axle and on that board we created a seat so you built a seat as if it's a motorbike seat and like uh, uh, I guess wood and then there is a platform that you sit on we put nice cushion like foam cushion with leatherette covering and a little backrest too so when you sit on your free wheel you're nice at the back of the free wheel we created a, a sort of um, bumper and on the bumper we put lights so we put light we put bulbs and we run wiring from the brick. There was a brick we made at the front, the, the, under the, the platform at the front was a long panel that was a brick. We had springs and rubber attached to it and a string connecting the brick pedal to the back tires. Right over the back tires, over the bumper, we had the brick application, which we made out of wood and rubber. So when we press the panel, at the, the pedal at the front, the, the pedal pulled the rope and it connected the rubber back on the at the back of the tire to the rubber to the tire itself so when rubber hits rubber it stops the scooter so we created our own braking device and scooters had brakes especially when it worked well it stopped especially if you're going to crash or if you're going to hit somebody so and when we press the brake people like John these guys were so good in terms of electrician work that they created and they taught us how to run our brake light. So whenever we touch our brake, the red light comes on. So we had a regular bulb and we put a sort of red covering over the bulb. And beautiful, especially in the evenings when you're riding and you hold the brakes, it is like a car. And we had headlights too for our, for our scooters. But we had a dynamo. And the faster the scooter goes, is the brighter the lights got at the front. So all these things were placed. We had um, flaps, mud flaps and everything for the scooter. No, so, 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 the, so all the, the, the seat for the scooter and uh, everything else I spoke about is built on the frame of the scooter. At the front, we cut out the opening of the platform wood that we use. We, like, like a V shape. We put the a handlebar, sometimes a rounded wood with a, with a pinion in the middle, so we can put the other, the, the third wheel at the front. And that is what we use to steer the scooter. To secure the handlebar in place, we use rubber at the front to make sure that we have traction. It's, it's, it's flexible, but it does not come out completely out of the out of the scooter. Sometimes we had accidents where. You hit and then your handlebar comes out and people get pleashe who's bruised and whatever. That happen, have happened in the past. But we, we, built, we built those scooters in a way where they were almost foolproof. And almost everybody had a scooter during the summertime. 
and boy we did have fun i will continue speaking about the scooter because i think we, there's something else to be said about it but we'll have to do so on the next episode here of calibishi chronicle